Hey guys, so a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to do another hairstyle tutorial. My hair has grown out now and it's longer for sure. As you can tell, my hair grows really fast. But yeah, so I decided to go ahead and do a Zac Efron inspired hair tutorial. Now, Zac Efron's hairstyle right now is a little longer and he kind of swipes it to the side with a little bit of like wavy texture hair. So I'm going to show you how to achieve a similar if not close enough look so let's get started now the first thing you are going to do is my hair now is like 90% dry so it's basically already dry which is a good thing and what I am going to do is do my typical powder play that I always talk about the big sexy hair powder play so that's just my favorite product that I like to use for my hair so you guys can use any other you know texturizing um, hairspray or volumizing hairspray but yeah, I'm just going to dab that on inside. This is kind of like, I guess, <clears throat> what I put in my hair before I do any hairstyles. <laughs> so now after I put in my powder play and my product to make my hair a little thicker, I am going to do the round brush effect like I did in my Zayn Malik hairstyle tutorial. So what you want to do is you want to part your hair from your eyebrow. So where your eyebrow, um, where your eyebrow hits, you want to go up and kind of swipe this to the side and it doesn't have to be perfect because you know we're guys and it kind of I guess a little messy not so perfect looks great as well because it's supposed to look a little bit messy kind of like you didn't try so hard and you want to grab this front section of your hair and what I'm going to do as opposed to doing it backwards I'm going to do it to the side so just watch me do this just grab this the sections of your hair and you want to round brush to the side now remember to twist the brush. Be excited. Alright, so once you have done that for quite a bit, as you can tell, this is more like, you know, to the side as opposed to up. And now what you want to do, now this is just what I personally do, or I would recommend to do. But, you don't have to listen to me. I never straighten my hair unless I'm going to do something similar like this. To, to get like a wavy uh, look or more of an even texturized look, I use a, a thin flattening iron. And, yeah. You want to grab the front sections of your hair. Now watch carefully. Just twisting it around. Grab another section. I'm just doing whatever kind of, whatever I can kind of grab. And now this one I am doing it to the back and letting go. Back, twisting, letting go. And as I said, you just want to do the front part of your hair. And now, this is what I do as well. So the back part of the hair, I kind of just like to squish my hair strands like so. Just so you kind of create like a wavy look. This is just for you guys if you guys have straight hair. So, I just want to check it out. So I just kind of squeeze, squeeze. And also to make a cool effect, you guys can do like the opposite on some hair strands. So like at the end, you guys can kind of grab the, the end of the hair strands and kind of twist them back and twist it back again. All right, so as you can see, this part is a little a little cuckoo right now, but we're going to fix that. You guys just grab your favorite pomade or fiber, whatever you use for your particular hair. I like to use Short Sexy Hair's Frenzy, as most of you know this. So what you want to do is you want to grab maybe three finger lengths, but very, very light dabs. You want to go around, and with your hands, you want to just kind of like, you know, get it in your hair. Something I like to do when it's something quick and my hair is already long. So right on top here, you want to you want to kind of make that lower and kind of press it downward to the side. As you can see, some hair strands are standing up, and some are just kind of swept back and curled up. Now the last step, now you don't have to use hairspray, but if you feel like your hair is going to go down and you need it to hold, then definitely use hairspray. Now I'm just going to use this L'Oreal Element Satin Hairspray and it's extra strong hold, but I actually feel like this doesn't hold as much and that's why I like using this, just because it's more of a natural look. Alright guys, and there you have it. That is my Zac Efron inspired hair tutorial. Let me do my daily spin around and this is the finishing results whoa that was a double
Ugh. Feel free to comment below. Let me know what other celebrities or any hairstyles that you would like me to try out and show you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week or weekend, and I will see all of you guys until next time.